So let's say you wanted to create a survey, poll, quiz, or rating. Uh, really simple, really quick, really fast, really easy. You could do that with PollDaddy.com. It's a great website and it lets you really quickly and easily set these things up. And the great news is it's free. You do a quick sign in and it sends you a confirmation email. You click on that link, you're brought here to your dashboard. And this is where you create all these things, the surveys, polls, quizzes, and ratings. And we'll just jump right in and go ahead and create a poll. So you click up here for the new, and I'll say poll. And you're brought to the screen where you've got all sorts of options. I'm going to name this poll. Uh, what was your favorite book this semester? And then I'm going to say um, the plague uh, to kill a mockingbird. Now let's see, what else did we have in there? Slaughterhouse five. So let's say we've got that three books we read. We don't need these two. We just simply delete them. Now we could stop here, but you can actually add media to this. So you can add images, which is kind of neat. So for the plague, I'm going to choose a file. And I'm going to choose uh, this little graphic I've created, or I found online. And I'm going to upload that. And you can see here it's doing something. It's taking a second. And there's a little thumbnail of it. I'm going to go through and do these real quick to kill a mockingbird. Upload. Get this last one here. And what was that last one? Slaughterhouse 5. Upload. And now. The cool thing about these is there's a lot of other, you can really customize these. So once this last one's in here, we can go through all the rest of these things. So we have these little icons here. Now we can let them do multiple selections. We can randomize the answer. We can allow them to enter their own answer. Maybe there's a write-in, popular write-in. Uh, then you can pick a poll style. So you can pick like aluminum, plain text, dark. There's quite a few and they're free. Uh, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, I like this cr uh, aluminum one, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. So you click on it. You can even choose your size. Do you want it to be narrow, 300 or 630 pixels wide? I'm just going to go with medium. Uh, poll options. This is interesting. You can have it never close or close after a certain date, and then it asks you to put that in. I'm going to go ahead and say never close. Uh, language pack is default. I believe if you pay for the pro version, you can uh, choose different languages. For the free version, you can have 200 polls and surveys and whatnot a month. Results, uh, let's show the results to the voter. You can hide the results if you want. And repeat voters, I'm going to block by cookie. You can block by other ways, or you can just let them keep voting and voting. And I'm not going to allow uh, comments on this one. And I'm going to allow sharing. And then I just come down here and I hit create poll. And here it is in my library, all contents. If I went to surveys, of course, there'd be nothing there. But if I go to polls, there it is, or all contents, it's there. I can then hit uh, preview. And here it is. What is your favorite? Uh, what was your favorite book this semester? And there they all are. And then you can view results, or you can share the poll with somebody else, or the person who's taking it can share the poll with somebody else. Where this really is powerful is in sharing. You can share this uh, with JavaScript. You can share it to a f your Facebook page. You can share it to Twitter, WordPress. You could send them a direct link, MySpace, or right through email. Um, it's pretty powerful in what it'll do. Uh, WordPress, you just go ahead and copy and paste that in your WordPress site. And uh, then your people, the people reading your blog, can just go ahead and, and take polls right there. The surveys and the quizzes and the ratings are extremely powerful as well. And we'll look forward to some of those tutorials at a later date.